Hi, my name is Chuck Devanji. I am your instructor for uh, Math 141 that, as you know, we're doing online. And uh, this video is just to help give you a little introduction to WAMAP. Uh, WAMAP is the shell that we'll be using, the instructional piece. And I, I chose WAMAP because it's very robust. It's, it's real specific for math, um, and it's not, um, it's just a little easier to use than Canvas. So you, you've already gotten this far. You already know how to navigate it a bit, I'm sure. Um, so I just want to do some highlights. So announcements, this section will always be at the top. And you can, you've can you probably already seen this. I will post stuff in here probably weekly, maybe more often. If there's something that pops up from a lecture or a question, a good question, I'll, I'll post stuff in here. So do check announcements. Give you some reminders, too, about upcoming tests and such. You've already clicked on this, this Get Started. Um, because you're watching this. It's laid out by weeks, and you can see the first three weeks right now. I will release content, um, like the weekly content, three weeks before before it's actually due. So you have a lot of time to manage, manage and plan ahead. I'm in student view right now. Instructor view, you can see kind of the whole course laid out. So you can see the first three weeks right now. Um, and the way that weeks are laid out, I'm going to look at week two because it's a little more robust. These are lectures. And inside the lecture, there'll be the actual lecture. You click on that, you get to listen to me talking more. Um, and then the assignment that I want you to do on the book. There's additional videos that I think are, are helpful if, if you know, my, my lecture wasn't sufficient and the book doesn't work as well. So these will be on the schedule. And then there's quizzes and forums that you do each week. We have practice quizzes, timed quizzes. And forums and I'll talk about those when, when we hit the syllabus. So anyways there's there's the basic structure. You can look at a look at a week, see what's due, um, and that sort of thing. Yeah let me go into resources and there's a couple things here's the course calendar and there's the syllabus. I'll start with the syllabus. And for this uh, it's online. There's me, there's my my email for Wacom um, that's an okay way to get a hold of me. Sending me a message through WAMAP is actually going to be much, much better. Um, I'll have WAMAP open pretty much all day so I can see it right away. I'll check my Wacom email, you know, maybe daily. So <laughs> message me through WAMAP. You can just hit messages over here. Um, new message, select my name and, and write me something. And what I really like about, um, WAMAP, and you'll, you'll see this in a couple places, is you can just type, but we have a math editor as well. So um, you can type in like uh, 5 plus x squared uh, divided by 14, and it'll format it. So that's one of the reasons why I chose uh, WAMAP. There's a lot of stuff in here. Take your time to, uh, to pour on through it. There's that textbook that you will need. Uh, a couple things, exam schedules. We have two exams and a final. These are the day, dates for them. They're all taken online. Um, for each of these, when you when you take it, I open it up for the day I have a window um, that I need you to get it done within. It's a two-hour window, and uh, you can choose what time to take it during the day as long as you finish it by the cutoff, which I think was, was 10 o'clock. Uh, this is how numbers turn into letters. Uh, two things about an important note here. This class ends at the final, so uh, this is a this is something to be aware of. All work must be submitted by 11:59 the day before the final exam. So day of the final afterwards, not, you you're not going to be able to submit any more work. I mean the class is over. Uh, there's another thing I give late plat passes, six late passes, and they only apply to quizzes, practice quizzes, and timed quizzes. And then if you take a peek uh, here, you'll see how percentages are laid out in the class. We have two exams. They're 30% of the grade. The final is 35% of the grade. Our practice quizzes and forums are categorized together, 15%. Time quizzes are 20%. Um, homework isn't graded, but it's great practice. It prepares you for all of your assessments. Uh, I, do, I do recommend you, you give it a go. Um, the exams in the final, we have uh, two exams in the final. They're all taken online. Each test must be completed in a in a two-hour sitting. So you click start on the test. You have two hours to get it done. 
they'll open up at 8 a.m. on their dates and they close at 10 p.m. So if you want your full two hours, don't start your test later than 8 p.m. Um, also, I strongly suggest you submit your scratch work after completing each of the exams. You'll take the test online, uh, do your scratch work, and then send me a picture of, uh, of the scratch work. Uh, practice quizzes. Practice quizzes happen uh, once a week, almost almost regularly, and they um, they're just these are things you should know how to do. You get four attempts on every question, um, and they're not timed, so they just have to be done by midnight. So you do your practice quiz each week. I'll come back to forums in a sec, because practice quizzes feed into time quizzes. Time quizzes are just basically new versions of practice quizzes. If you're doing good on the practice quizzes, you're ready for the time quizzes. These happen once a week as well. They're two hours. You get two hours to do them. It, it's 10 questions, maybe 15 questions. It should not take two hours to do. Um, give yourself time to do it. Uh, you get three uh, You get three attempts per problem on time quizzes. So this is just like really good practice. I've had people tell me that they're, they're really glad that, that we do this because it really helps them. Um, forums. Each week, you'll, I'll ask you to post in the forum, and then you also... Um, respond to at least one of the piece person's uh, post in the forum. And um, for that, make sure that uh, you're answering the prompt that I'm asking. I mentioned the um, late passes. You, the late passes are only used on practice quizzes and time quizzes, not, not on forums. Um, round of three decimal places, that is such a good piece of advice. Just do it unless it says otherwise. And then um, if you feel like you've been shortchanged on a question, like I rounded it right, like I'm not sure what happened, just send me a message, just message me and I will look at it. I always, I don't trust the auto grader. I'll always double check. I'll usually put some comments on things that were missed. So check your feedback from me on that. I'm gonna go back to the course. Uh, course calendar. This is printable. Well, everything's printable, but I suggest you print this because this lays out the course for you. Um, anything that's italicized is a due date. Those are due then. So, for example, this week you have an intro form and an intro quiz due on Wednesday. Um, form response due on Friday, and that's gonna. This is gonna be pretty regular. Notice I have practice quiz one due on a Wednesday, form due on a Wednesday. That happens whenever they are due, and then time quiz and form due on a Friday, uh, same thing. So a couple things on here, 1.6, that means 1.6 section out of the book, that's what the lecture will be on, that's what your practice should be on. Um, look at week two, 3.2, 3.3. Um, the practice quiz and the time quiz will only be on material that was before the practice quiz. So this practice quiz will be over those three sections only. Same with this time quiz. Time quiz won't, won't change from the practice quiz, I won't add new materials to it. Exams are on here. Um, and the final. So there is that calendar. So again, message me if you have questions. Uh, I'm looking forward to a good quarter. I will respond to your questions. So ask me uh, what you need help with, and I'm I'm here to help you get through this course. All right, I'm looking forward to uh, to reading your responses to the forums and uh, hearing from you via messages.